Good evening YouTube. Um, it's Mike, Cornish and Rising Camping. It's a week since the Edel meet. Um, big thank you to Lenny and Drew for organising it again. And uh, thank you for uh, to Richard the Farmer for uh, letting them hold the event there. Brilliant place. The weather was cracking. Um, unfortunately I had a few issues with the camera. I lost some footage and I lost quite a lot of audio off the footage that I got so um, I've put together a video of what I can um, and that will follow this introduction um, it's a week later we've been caravanning down in Cornwall 3G was a bit iffy um, no Wi-Fi on the campsite so I haven't had much opportunity to upload anything um, and it's been a pain in the backside trying to keep on top of um, YouTube and Facebook and social media in general really so today is the 4th, Sunday the 4th we've just got back, I've just unloaded the caravan and um, this is the first opportunity I've had to, to um, upload the video really big thank you to everybody who came and said hello and had a beer um, special thank you to the guys I was camping with uh, Mike Palmer, Richard Radcl uh, Robert Radcliffe, sorry, Robert, um, Malcolm Palmer, Mike's dad, uh, Nathan Dixon from Dixon Leather. He spent came with us and um, spent a few days and really nice guy. It was really nice to meet you, Nathan. Thank you very much for um, t coming along and um, sharing the time with us. Somebody else who joined us, um, been wanting to meet for a while now is Lawrence Horrop from Al Horop Handmade Knives, I think it is. The um, description of his channel, along with Nathan Dixon's uh, description, will be in the box. Um, brilliant group of guys. Had a really good weekend with them all. And thank you very much for your company. It was awesome. Um, the Bazaar boys. Mark came along. I picked up my tent. I bought off him. Bought an axe as well. Thank you, Marcus. Love the axe. Picked it up and put it down a few times, but I really wanted it, and I'm glad I bought it in the end. It's a lovely, it's a lovely bloody item. Really nice. Um, had a few other bits and pieces of people, but um, I'm going to do a separate video on that of what I got. Um, Rat Pat boys, thank you very much for making me feel welcome to the camp. Popped over a couple of times and a little chat to the guys and two of them bought knives off me and um, thank you very much. I hope they serve you serve you well. Um, and I know that they're going to do videos on those separately so um, I'll leave it at that for a minute. But I just wanted to say um, thank you to everybody. Forest Prepper, Brumley Prepper, Woody Wood Prepper, Matt Tightward, all the guys who came and said hello. Thank you very much. And um, if I've missed anybody out, I do apologise. There was hundreds of people there. Um, I didn't do an awful lot of filming because I was too busy yapping and having a really good time and drinking. Drunk lots, dear. So um, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry the audio was not, not the best. And... Um, here it is. I'll speak to you all soon. And don't forget. Stay Cornish, savvy?
Go on, mate. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> Morning, gents. You all right? All right. Good, good, good. You don't mind me shoving my camera in your mush, do you? <laughs> well, this is a nice knife I've just got from Mike Bright. Look at this for a for a tour. And he's told me to say, stay Cornish. <laughs> That's it, Michael. <laughs> Good man. Andy, you alright mate? Yeah, not bad mate. <laughs> Stay Cornish. Stay Cornish, Stay brother. Cornish, whatever you do. It's a nice stock, Best bit of my week, can not that, Oh, yeah, that well after that. Beauty. Look at that. Gun blue. You don't get many of them. There stands an happy man. Hello Mike, how are you doing? I'm well, thank you. you having a good time? Wonderful. Have you stopped drinking beer? No. Good. <laughs> No, thank you. I've got plenty of my own for 50p. <laughs> You're all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good walk. Lovely. Where did you go? Straight on that there. Yeah. Is it? Rain, hail, and a strong wind. It's a bit windy here, but uh, yeah. Hail on it. Oh. Weird weather there. Yeah. It's like snowing kind of thing. What boys?
Me filming you, filming me. Morning all. Got it. Still eat, he's still eating meat, look. He's still going for it. It's a man. It's a wrong catchphrase. Yeah. <laughs> Flash room. Oh, that was a shot, that was. You're down on that one. <laughs> Over. Yep. Um, pull it through. Got this covered garnish. Oh, Michael, stitch that leather. Stitch it good. Go on, go on, let's Always try it, see it See the line there. And then that should be hang on the foot back here. Yeah. It's just practice really getting that muscle memory. Yeah. Pushing it all through. Well, that's it. And that's it. You just keep your elbow up when you push it through. I'm saying it's daft, but that angles the, the stitch at the back. Yeah. And when you start doing it, you just put two bits together and just practice punching the holes through. You almost want to feel like a bit of a robot. Yeah. But it's just purely consistency. You think it's being mechanic, but I probably think it's been. Drew! Oh, is it Drew? It is, it is Drew. Not sure. 
quite good for me remembering someone's name. You, know. you don't have to give it a little bit of a I'm sure it's not. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is Camp Mike, by the way. <laughs> Everyone here is called Mike. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Everybody. Uh, through the centre of the hole, that's it, because you'll. That one goes over the top. Looking good, man. Looking good. All room for improvement and. Very neat. Happy to. When you put the all in, just rock it forward and back. So once he's in, yeah. rock it forward and back, and it'll just open up the hole just a little bit. So you choose come right the way through and rock it backward and forward. You got it, mate. Okay, good. Fall through me bleeding fingers this time, isn't it? The next one. Yeah. Nest left. Ah. <laughs> Still got it, man. Still, Still got, got it. it. Still got it, Robert. Oh, it's gonna chin. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I've done it again. Ian's going to absolutely hate shit after how easy it, it First time this year. He started that, yeah. <laughs> Who do we dedicate that to, boys? Uh, Mr. Lawrence. Lawrence. Hey, Mr. Lawrence. <laughs> and me, Mark. No assistance from me at all, Ian. <laughs> Why is what? Why is orange jam and marmalade? Because, <laughs> because there's not enough intelligent people like you to make it. If you'd have asked Drew that, he'd have gone, I don't know, mate. 26 foot 2. Great, we'll have a sport too. Here's a camera. Are you alright, Mike? Yeah, I'll take it with this.
Stay Cornish!